Second Timothy chapter 1 verses 5 and 6 When I call to remembrance the genuine faith that is in you which first which dwelt first in your grandmother Lois and your mother Eunice and I'm persuaded is in you also Therefore I remind you to stir up the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands Now these words were penned by Paul to Timothy who was a young minister was a, a pastor of, of this church. He was a young man, but he handled big responsibilities. He, uh, he was running, he was handling, he was giving leadership to a big church, a thriving church. And uh, there was a political scenario which was very threatening. There was a lot of persecution. And uh, in, in such a, a scenario, Paul writes to Timothy. And he, says, uh, and he says these things. So he says he remembers the faith that was in uh, Timothy's grandmother and mother. And he says, I'm sure that's in you also. And then he goes on to say, you know, I remind you to stir up the gift of God in you. Now that word remind is made up of two Greek words. It's a compound word. It's uh, the first part of the word ana. Ana means uh, you know, to repeat again. Um, and then the second part of that word, memnesco, which means reminded of something. Uh, example, memories, reminded of something. So we put this together and we get this word, uh, ana memnesco, which means to regather or recollect memories. And it's like hitting the rewind button over and over again, or to have a song or message on repeat play in your playlist. So, so Paul is saying, you know, you regather Remember God's faithfulness, regather all those memories, put it together, uh, the, the way the Lord rescued, the way the Lord saved, regather that, recollect that and replay those memories. So he's, he's reminding, he's saying, you know, you need to have that on repeat play, regather, recollect, replay that over and over again. And so what, what happens when we do that? When we, when we recollect all those testimonies, when we regather all those testimonies and all those, uh, all those wonderful testimonies of how God saved us, of how God healed us, of how God provided for our needs and how He came through and gave us those breakthroughs. When we recollect, regather, sometimes, you know, we tend to forget these things. So we recollect, we regather and we play that over and over again. And what happens as a result of that is that our faith level grows up, our faith rises up. So Paul is telling Timothy, you know, you regather, recollect, you replay so that your faith will go up. And he says, you know, so that you can stir up the gifts of God, which is in you. So Paul uh, is saying, you know, there was, uh, I, I laid hands, we prayed and these gifts are there. Now you need to start using that. And uh, Timothy was a young man who was kind of not really using those gifts and, and Paul is saying you know, for you to use those gifts you need to regather, recollect and replay and let your faith rise up so that you will be stirred up and you will stir up the gifts that God has given you. So today um, you know uh, maybe God has put certain things in you, there are some gifts in you, there's an anointing, there's a call on your life. So go back memory lane and gather all those things, those wonderful testimonies of what God has done for you in your life. Gather all those testimonies and, and put it on repeat play in your playlist and over and over again and let faith rise in you so that you will take that step forward. Let's pray. Father, we thank you, God, for your, all those wonderful testimonies, God, for all the ways that you've led us, for all the ways that you've um, come through for us, Lord. And Lord, we choose to remember that. We choose to recollect, we choose to put that together and we choose to dwell, we choose to meditate on those things. And Father, we pray that uh, enable us to stir up all those gifts that are in us and enable us to move up and step out and uh, act Lord, in line with your word. We thank you, in Jesus' name we pray, Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.